Hello, I am Husky Light and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Um, first of all, thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your Google Pluses. Um, it all means so much to me. Thank you so much. Really, really, really appreciate it. Um, quick introduction, really. Um, I've been doing, I've been on YouTube since December something like that and I think every month it's taken me a little bit of time to decide on my style of doing things, how I want to do things and getting into a rhythm with it. Um, and after doing last month's stars and doing a little introduction at the beginning, I'm sort of thinking I quite like doing this and I quite prefer to do it this way and then go into the stars um, and tell you a bit, a little bit about the astrology, not a lot because I'm not an astrologist. But just say a little bit about it and what's going on and a little catch up and we can go into the stars then. Um, plus I've got you as a captive audience. <laughs> if you don't like it, you have to physically skip this bit to get to your stars. Sorry. Um, so to start off with, um, I hope you all had um, a great April. Um, we have got in May, we've got no more solar eclipses, no more lunar eclipses, thank goodness, until September. Uh, it is the next partial solar eclipse, I think. Um, so until then, we've got no more of that. So I think May, in general, may be a little bit quieter than April. Was um, There was a lot of changes in April due to the eclipses. Even if you physically didn't have changes to go through, I think a lot of us internally had changes. I think a lot of us internally had um, different ways of looking things at things. I think our perspectives changed in a lot of ways, our feelings changed, our situations changed, um, and, and yeah, on an internal basis, even if it wasn't seen on um, a physical, external basis, I think a lot of things did change, and a lot, a lot of things are still changing and still in the process of changing, so let me get my notes. <laughs> uh, this month, we've got our full moon on May the 4th. Now, I am not an astrologist. I will talk about the full moon and the new moon simply because I love the law of attraction. Um, I love to manifest things. I'm a co-creator. Um, so what I will do is talk about when those are. And so uh, May the 4th is our full moon, which is great. So hopefully things that we put into set our intentions with the new moon in April will start to come to the fore for this full moon. Now, if you set new intentions in April um, and they haven't come through yet and they haven't happened yet, don't give up. Don't go, oh God, it didn't work. I'm not bothering with that again this month. Do it again. Do it every month. This is not a, a fly by night. I'm going to try it for 10 minutes and if it doesn't work, that's it. Um, law of attraction, manifestation, co-creation is all about you being positive and wanting the things that you want and thinking about the things that you want and putting the right intentions behind them. Um, so if it doesn't, if, if, if you can't see it coming through this month, try it again. It might be that you've got some sort of deep internal block um, that is stopping it coming through. It might be, it might be some huge thing that you you want to manifest, like a new house or a car or, um, and you think you can't do it because it's just too big uh, and it's gonna take longer. Well, set your intentions again um, on the new moon this, this month. Now, your next new moon is on the 18th of May. So that is the day um, that you want to put 20, 30 minutes aside and just do your new intentions. And if you want to make them the same as last month, the intentions that you set out last month because they all haven't come through yet and you still want them and you still desire them, go for it, put them down again. Um, the 17 second rule, you think about it every day for at least 17 seconds to get the ball rolling, to get the momentum going and to get you wanting it and for it to manifest. So don't give up after one month, please don't. Um, what else is happening during this month? We've got Mercury going into retrograde actually on the 18th, which is also our new moon and it's going to stay retrograde until June the 11th. Um, we know that when Mercury grows retrograde, it starts to bring up old emotions, situations. We start going backwards, um, which is a real pain at times. Um, but this month, if it starts to bring up emotions that we've tried to hide, 
old stuff that starts bubbling up to the surface again this month, deal with it. Deal with it so we can get rid of it for good this time. If it's bubbling up again, it's something that we need um, to deal with. It gives us a great opportunity actually um, to, to feel the feelings that are coming up, to feel the fear around these emotions that might be coming up. And you're thinking, why am I feeling this again? I thought I'd got rid of it. Try and get to the root of it. Try and find out exactly why you're feeling it again. Get it sorted, get it fixed, get rid of it. And this is what Mercury Retrograde does and this is why it likes to come up every so often, even though we don't like it coming up <laughs> that often. Um, it will be a lot of buried things that we've tried to bury, but you know what happens, they always come back up to haunt us if, if we try and hide them. So that's that. Um, what else? Not a lot else really. Um, regarding that, we've just got, we've got the full moon on the four, so things from last month hopefully should manifest. New moon is when you set your intentions again um, on the 18th. Now setting intentions, and I'm not going to go into much into spells and stuff at this time but law of attraction setting your intentions and everything is almost the same as making a spell uh, producing a spell a magic spell it's just that when you use a spell you are using props you're using candles and incense and and things like that and um a parchment paper wax all that sort of thing and what you're doing is you're basically doing the same thing as setting your intentions up, but you're putting it into a spell. So you're using props for it. So in a way, it might actually help some of you to manifest something. It might help some of you produce something because you're using props. So you make it stronger and you make your intention stronger by doing it as a spell as opposed to setting your intentions and doing it as the law of attraction. So they are very, very similar. And some of you might go, oh, I don't like spells and that's not good. I'm not getting involved in that. But in a way, it is just a different way of manifesting things. Um, so for some of you, if you're not having much luck in setting your intentions and writing them down, then maybe a simple spell on the new moon. Who knows? Um, but anyway, that's something else to different to go into. So... I've done my astrology bit, I've talked about the new moons, I've talked about Mercury in retrograde and I'm going to jump into your uh, stars for May 2015. If you would like a personal in-depth reading from me, um, it would be so wonderful for you. Um, it's very in-depth, it's very good, You can. there's different ways of doing it, you can get a one question, you can get a diamond spread, you can get a full reading. If you go off to my website and have a quick look on there, um, if you want to email it, me, it's info at huskylight.com. My website is huskylight.com. Have a look. Have a look at the uh, readings and gifts page. I've also started doing dream reports as well. I've decided to start pulling in my resources um, from all my years of experience and all my years of, of, of um, being esoteric, um, and my stars and my spells and, and my dream uh, things that I've done for absolute years as as a hobby um, or slightly more as a hobby and concentrated on quite well over the years that I know sort of backwards and inside out and upside down so I'm starting to pull them all in a little bit now um, and get them up so if you'd like to go and have a look at the website um, go and pick yourself a reading um, it doesn't have to be one of the expensive ones we've got the full readings right down to the cheaper ones for just one question um, and I say I've got also got the dream reports as well dreams are really really important they're a really good way for your angels to get through to you they're trying to get a message through to you and you don't understand what they're saying um, they will keep knocking until you get it um, so maybe if you've got something like that going on drop me a line um, and I'll help you out with that and get a full report together for you right thank you very much for listening to me go on and on and on and it's time for your stars. Okay, so take care, namaste. Hi there. Um, okay, this is Aries uh, for May 2015. And let's start with your overall theme for this month, which is the 
Three of Cups. Now, Three of Cups is usually a card about reunions, getting together with somebody. It's not always romantic though, unfortunately. But it is really good because it may be that you, I feel um, you're going to come across somebody or come back into contact with somebody that you've not seen in quite a while that will be coming back into your life at some point this month, which is a really upbeat card. Things are going to be going well for you in general this month um, in quite a few areas of your life. Now, remember that this is a general reading for Aries. So you need to take what you can from it, what resonates with you, discard the things that don't. Also, somebody asked me the other day about should you listen to your rising sign? And obviously, yes, um, if your sun sign isn't resonating with you, it may be that your rising sign for this particular month will resonate more with you. So yeah, please go and have a look at that and check it out. Hope that will help. Definitely could mean some sort of reunion, either with a lost love, a lost friend, even a lost business partner. Somebody that you've not seen in a while will be back in your life during the month of May. Um, somebody will get in contact with you, either through email or text or phone call, or may even just show up at your door. For a lot of you, I feel that money will be coming in um, better than it has done in previous months. I feel a lot of you are going to be a lot more upbeat this month um, about your situations, about um, you're going to be wanting to be more social, wanting to go out more, really sort of getting in with the, um, the feeling um, that the weather is getting better out there that we're getting on, uh, we're well into spring now, and, and you're starting to, to get really upbeat about it during the month. Now, it's preceded by the Queen of Coins, so I feel that for some of you, it could be somebody around you, um, but I feel more usually, I don't take it as a person, I'll take it as you themselves you're making a lot of headway you're making an awful lot of headway now you seem to be moving forward you seem to be i feel for some of you this will be in a work situation and for some of you this will be in a love situation you will be feeling the women out there this month for aries you will be feeling very feminine this month um If you're looking for love, be open to looking for love. I don't think um, if you're desperately trying to be with somebody or desperately trying to find love this month, it will happen. You have to be not all that bothered. If that makes sense about not finding somebody, that is the best way to bring somebody to you for some of you this month. For those of you who are in a committed relationship i feel that a lot of you may be getting closer together and almost on a, a more spiritual basis for a lot of you you'll be feeling closer together it'll almost you'll be finishing off each other's sentences you'll be able to read each other's minds you'll be saying the same thing at the same time there'll be a lot more synchronicity between you um, and a lot more togetherness uh, for those of you who are in a committed currently with somebody at the moment I feel for a lot of you there may be a woman that comes into your life um, who may already be in your life she's got dark hair and dark eyes um, if it's in a, a work situation you're going to find that she's going to come in and help you with a work situation that you've been struggling with. For others, this is a friend. For others, this may be part, if, if you're a man, this might be part of this reunion that is happening, this person coming back into your life this month. But this woman, um, whether you're in a committed relationship, whether this woman comes to you in a work situation, whether this woman comes to you in a love situation, 
um, she's very intelligent and she's very almost um, psychic. You can see the the light shining from um, her third eye in the picture. Uh, she's very knowing um, and you may get a very strange sense of deja vu around her when you meet her, when you see her. Nine of Pentacles, um, really uplifting card, really beautiful card. I'm really glad that you've got it for May. Um, very good energy. It's a lot about your wealth and your happiness, um, sharing your happiness around with others. I feel that um, you are just going to be so much more upbeat. It's all gonna, almost going to be contagious to people around you this month and they're going to want to share in your happiness um, in a lot of ways. new heights of inti intimacy with uh, already committed relationships. For some of you, you could be meeting somebody new and it, the person that you are meeting this month, um, if, you, if it's not for all of you, for some of you who are meeting somebody new this month, they will be, um, I won't say the one, but they could be the start of a very meaningful and deep uh, relationship. Um, somebody who you want in your life, somebody perhaps who you need and have been looking for in your life for a while, they're going to appear um, at this point, at some point during the month of May. Um, and they're going to be bringing a lot of happiness your way, but you're gonna be sending a lot of happiness back to them as well. Um, when you're looking at your finances this month, I feel that um, you have to look at everything, um, not just your money, look at your financial, at your material gains as well that you've got around you. Don't just take it on a monetary value this month. Um, you're definitely feeling full of vitality and full of new things around you. I'm sorry, my bandit is whinging, but I don't know why. <laughs> He's just looking at me and whinging. Um, you're feeling likely for a lot of you to be feeling a lot more healthy this month. Um, your family life is likely to be a lot better and your financial is, is a lot better as well. But don't, as I say, don't just look at monetary. Um, look at the luxury that you've got around you. Look at your friends, look at your family, look at your boyfriends, your girlfriends, um, your pets, um, and realize how good things are for you this month and how much things are improving. Um, don't concentrate on any negative, okay? Um, and we've got the Knight of Coins, uh, the Knight of Coins with that, which is also an amazing card to have. Make sure during the month of May, for some of you, not all of you, um, that you are meeting your responsibilities properly. Um, make sure that you have got a give and take um, in love relationships. Make sure that you've got a good give and take in a work situation as well. Make sure that you're not leaning too heavily on other people. And make sure that other people are not leaning too heavily on you and expecting you to do too much in a work situation. A lot of you are going to find a new job this month. When you go for interviews this month, you need to look very, very dependable um, and very balanced in your actual interviews if you're looking for a new job. But I feel that if you can act in that way, that you will find a new job and it will be offered to you, the position. They're not looking for people who are uh, full of new ideas, full of, uh, full of ways to change their business around, full of ways to change things uh, from the way that they normally do things. They want good, dependable people. Um, so if you act in that way at your interview um, and don't go in with a load of new ideas, um, then you're very likely to be hired at this point, this uh, at some time during the month of May. 
for the ones of you who are looking for work at the moment. Um, as I say, for other people, the ones who are already in work, who are not looking for new work, um, stick to your traditional ways of doing things. Um, stick to, stick within the system. Don't go changing things and make sure, as I say, that people are not expecting too much of you this month and you are not in turn expecting too much of them. Now we've got the Five of Cups and that means for some of you, do not get hung up on the small stuff this month. Don't be crying over spilt milk. Don't be concentrating or putting your focus on things that you don't want to focus on. You need to focus on things that are for your highest good. You need to focus on the good things that are in your life, not the bad things. And I feel that it might be a little bit of a test for some of you this month, as you might feel it quite hard um, not to let your mind wander and not to become obsessed with things that are not going so well for you. So this is a heads up, really. If you find your mind wandering, if you think that this is happening to you, you really need to make an effort to draw your mind away from the bad stuff and concentrate on all the good stuff that is happening. Um, consider what you want to be doing in your life. Consider what you like. Consider the way that you want your life to go and make it happen. Take steps towards making it happen, no matter how, how you do that. Um, and one of the main parts of doing that is to be positive in doing that. I feel for a few of you, um, during the month of May for Aries, um, you may have just finished a relationship or you might be about to start a new relationship. Uh, more likely, some of you may have just ended a relationship and you're feeling lost and you're feeling probably very upset during the month of May, but realise that it was done for your best interests, it was done for your highest good, and you need to give yourself some time and space for some of you um, before you get back out there. It will actually do you good to be on your own for a little bit. Yeah, don't be jumping, and spirit saying, do not be jumping back into relationships straight away if you've just come out of one. Um, have some time and peace to be able to find some peace within yourself on your own. Because this will lead you eventually to a relationship that works really well for you. And I actually feel for some of you, um, by September, you will have found what you're looking for. It may not necessarily be this month, but for some of you that have just ended a relationship and come out of a relationship, by September, Spirit is saying that you will have found what you are looking for and you will be an awful lot happier by then stop worrying about money as i say concentrate on the good in your life and not the bad in your life because if you focus on the bad it will produce more of it and it's going to be a real effort for some of you um to keep those bad thoughts out um not for all of you um for some of you you're going to breeze through may and it's going to be fine you're going to have a good time um and I, th I think maybe it's just for some of you, this is not an ongoing thing. It's just going to be occasionally during the month, you're going to get this obsessional thought during the month that you can't seem to shake and you really need to try and control it um, and think of the positive. From a spiritual point of view, I think during the month of May, it's time to forgive yourself. Some of you, I feel, need to forgive yourself. Um... Do it for your own sake, especially if you want to forgive somebody else as well. Don't do it for their sake or because they deserve it. Do it for your own sake. Forgive others for your own sake to make yourself feel better. Um, because holding on to anger and pain is really toxic and bad for you. Um, and you're so beautiful, Aries, that you, you just, you don't want that. You don't want that in your life. You don't want that during the month of May at all. Just remember that if you're angry and full of pain um, and you can't forgive somebody, usually the person that you're angry with is off having a good time somewhere. So it's time to let it go. It really is time for you to let it go and get rid of the pain that you're holding 
inside you um, because guaranteed that person that you've got the pain with will not be having as much pain as you. Um, and we're finishing off with the Six of Swords. Now remember, not every card applies to you. This is going to apply to um, probably all of you at some point during the month um, with these energies that are around you. So take what you can from them. I think a lot of you will be doing a lot more traveling um, during the month of May. And if it's not on a physical basis, it will be on an inward basis. It will be um, you going with the flow more, you trusting the universe more, you being happier to be guided to where you want to be as opposed to resisting change let changes occur this month if there is any changes let them know that it is for your higher good and trust in the universe that they're going to be guiding you in the right direction and i feel for a lot of you this month you will feel more like that um that the universe is going to be taking you where you want to be and everything that is happening this month is ha or has happened recently has happened for a really good reason even if you can't see that reason now It might be that some of you are changing where you do your business. Um, you could be moving offices or moving locations even for those of you that are in work. Obviously, that for those of you that are seeking work and find work, then your, um, your locations are going to change. You're going to be at home to being in an office or vice versa. Or you could be working from home or traveling, definitely traveling more um, in one way or another either physically or inwardly. I think a lot of you are going to feel or want to get out and about more this month and just taking new scenery, go on trips, go for picnics. I see a lot of you um, just having more family time together this month that maybe you haven't had recently because you've been so busy. Um, you will feel a need this month just to get out of your normal routine um, and maybe meet somebody new. Definitely if you go to places that you haven't been before, if you're looking for love, this is where you could meet somebody new. Um, and as I said earlier in the re reading, for those of you who do meet somebody new this month during the month of May, this person is going to be really special to you. And this person is going to be um, in your life for quite a while. This is not going to be a quick affair with somebody or a quick friendship they're going to be sticking around for quite a while i think for a lot of you during may uh, you will feel it's time to treat yourself and i think you're right on that it is time to treat yourself um don't get carried away but i feel i can see a lot of you um or generally quite a few of you going out and buying something that is just for you and treating yourself just to make yourself feel better, just for you, for no other reason than you're great and you're wonderful. And that's what you want to do. You will get a lot of spiritual answers um, at some point during May for a lot of you. It's like you've been asking the universe for things that you haven't quite got the answers to yet, that you don't quite understand during this time you will get a lot of answers back to you and you will get a lot of our harm moments and these answers will help you on your journey forward. Also pay a lot of attention to your dreams for all of you in May for Aries. Get a dream journal, write it down, send it to me, let me do you a dream report. Um, but honestly, a lot of uh, insight is going to come through to you in your dreams this month. Um, a lot of meaning, a lot of messages um, are going to come through to you. So Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading for May. Um, let me know how it goes. Um, I wish you all the best and I love you loads and loads and loads. Um, and good luck with it all. And I will speak to you soon. Namaste, blessings and light.